Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Huseman and I'm so thankful you're here with me today. I'm really excited to be showing y'all a River Island haul. I love River Island. I get really excited when the seasons change and I can shop their new looks and I'm so excited. There's finally starting to be a chill in the air and it will soon be autumn. Fall is my all-time favorite season for fashion, for life, for like the weather. I just, I love Love, love fall. So I'm really excited to get into it. Today I've themed it very brown and neutral instead of my regular pink and cream. So I think it's gonna be really interesting. I feel like these are really more cool looks than I normally wear. And this was slightly inspired by an upcoming trip to New York City where I was envisioning what I would wear. So without further ado, let's get into the video. with is this cream top. I realized after I unboxed everything that this was the only top I got so you'll see this with every outfit. I really love the look of this heathered cream top because it actually goes really well with everything I bought. Like it makes an outfit of the color scheme that I got. So everything is in British pounds so I'm not sure the US dollar but as always everything will be linked down below. I will try and find this at Nordstrom because I think the return policy is a lot better if you live in the States. Otherwise, I will leave a link to the River Island website. Just know that when you do return it, if you have to return it, you have to pay for shipping back to Great Britain. So that's the only downside to River Island, but ugh, their stuff is so cute, it's so worth it. So this was eight pounds, you could get two for 14 pounds, and it is just a cream v-neck top. I thought this was perfect. You can really never have too many of these in your wardrobe. And I am now going to go back on the website and get this in white because it's seriously so soft and comfy. So next up are these split hem trousers. And I <laughs> was a little nervous about these. I feel like they're like almost too cool for me, but I was really envisioning wearing these in New York to a concert my brother is having with my sister. And I thought these would be perfect. I didn't realize on the website, they're not as thick as I thought they were. I thought they'd be more like trouser material. They are a little on the thinner side, but I feel like once you put them on, it's almost a benefit. Like they're not gonna be too hot. I definitely could have sized down in these. I think I'll go one size down, but I just love this split hem. It is so, so trendy right now to have the leg split open at the front. I feel like it is just so interesting, so chic, and I will definitely be pairing this probably with like a camisole, some heels, and go out in this and just feel so chic. Next up is this gorgeous white tennis skirt. I have been on the lookout for a good, quality tennis skirt that isn't too athletic and is a little bit more on the I wouldn't say formal but like I wanted the fabric to be stiffer I wanted it to be a little bit more dressed up and I'm so excited to wear this with a sweater in the fall I think it's like the perfect look I'm not exactly sure how I feel about the River Island logo I think it kind of takes away from sort of like the athletic cool of the skirt I think this is perfect for fall but you could also wear it in that sort of like summer fall transition stage I think this would be perfect in summer but also with a sweater in fall I think would just be so cute another pair of cool pants are these leather like I'm sure it's faux leather but <laughs> faux leather pants and they have a almost like straight cut bordering on like wider leg and these are just ultimate cool girl vibes I've been looking for a good pair of leather leggings I don't really wear a lot of black and this brown is the perfect chocolate brown for me it is still gonna go really well with my creams and my neutrals and even I don't know if I'd wear pink with it but it's gonna go really well with everything in my closet without being too harsh it's really comfy and I just think they fit so well I got these in a size 16 they were 40 pounds so a little bit more on the expensive side but for a good pair of leather pants I think these are really versatile and yeah another item that I'm gonna be packing for New York City just because I feel like again cool girl vibes that I don't always have <laughs> in the same leather material is this skirt I'm not sure if it's considered a tennis skirt but it does have those pleats made out of this faux vegan leather it again has the river island detail on the waistband but in this case i think it's a lot cuter i think it makes it look like a waist belt and i think it looks much more appropriate to the style of the skirt i really really like it i have a similar one in red from zara but it's no longer my size so i was really pumped to find this in a chocolate brown i definitely would pair it with like a sweater or something a bit more wintry on top. I don't think this is as much as a transitional piece because of the color, but it is really, really classy. So going more into full winter, I got this adorable blazer coat. And the reason I am so obsessed with it are these puff sleeve details, so adorable. 
I will say this is from the Petite collection, so I'm not sure if it was actually meant to fit me like this. It does look a little boxy and I wish it was a little bit longer, but I think that's what you're gonna get getting it from the Petite collection, which says it is for 5'3 and under, and I am 5'9, so <laughs> not quite anywhere near that, but it was 65 pounds, but you're getting a nice winter coat that I think goes really well with a pair of jeans and a camisole or even over top a dress. I really like that it's bringing the trend of blazers in while still being a classic timeless cut of this coat. I really wish they came out with this in the non-petite collection. I think that'd be a no-brainer for me, but especially if you are on the shorter side, I really don't think you should pass up on this jacket. Like this, seriously, this is my perfect jacket. I just can't get over how gorgeous the sleeves, the color, the button, and everything about this is. The last thing I got from River Island are these winter, almost like combat boots which is totally not my style, but my mom had a pair almost exactly like this growing up, and when I saw it, it just reminded me so much of her. I think this would be so cute if you wanna dress down with some leggings and a sweater. I think these would be perfect for those really, really cold days. They are pretty grippy, so I think if you were walking around in the snow or the ice, they would be perfect. I will treat them with a suede protectant because I don't want this material to get ruined if I do take them into more like watery conditions, but I love the gold accents. I love the brown, really into brown this fall in case you can't tell, but I think these are just so pretty and so, I don't know, like they're very detailed in a way that I like and I would be really excited to wear these hiking if I was going on like, like not like a hike hike, but like a, oh, we're gonna go hike and have a picnic. Like I wanna look cute, like hiker chic. These would definitely be those. So I'm definitely keeping these. Very excited about them, and I think they will go really well on those days that I wanna dress down, wear with jeans. I don't think I would ever wear these with a dress or a skirt, but if I was, I would wear higher socks, so those kinda of like peek out at the top. So that was everything I got from River Island this time. I've already started looking on the website and seeing things I missed, so I will be going back and doing another order. I'm not sure if I'll be doing a full video, but I'll definitely be uploading them as an Instagram reel, so you can follow me at, at Nicole underscore Huseman if you wanna see what I pick up next. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you know whenever I upload a new video. And as always, everything, including the outfit I'm wearing right now, will be linked down below to make life easier for you to just automatically go to those items. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you liked anything from this haul, if you got anything, if you have any recommendations, please leave a comment down below. I love making this a community and it's, I don't want this just to be a one-way street. So please let me know you're here. Let me know what you liked. I really, really love your feedback and I'm excited to chat with y'all. All right, bye.